my son's uh, a little bit upset. In fact, he's extremely upset. He's noticed that people are stealing daddy's videos. Um, do you think it's a right thing or a wrong thing to steal videos? Wrong thing. What message do you want to send to the people who steal daddy's videos? I hate you. Yeah, well, hate's a very strong word. I'd say, uh, put it this way, I think these people uh, are building empires on other people's um, work, and I think that's a very bad thing. My son uh, has been very astute in pointing out some things to me on YouTube, and we might take a look at what's going on. Warning, this video contains graphic images of giant spiders, and a bit of a story about my big spider video. My son uh, found this video, it's a, a YouTuber that he watched and he noticed that this uh, person has used one of daddy's videos as part of his funny video. Let's take a look at the stats behind this video. That's the name of the video, I've covered up the YouTuber's name there because I'm not promoting him and it was published on January 22nd, 2017. So between January 22nd to the day I'm making this video, which is January 29. Let's see how many views this wondrous video has pulled. My goodness me, 808,001 views. So this YouTuber is pulling a lot more views than I am at the moment. If I go up here, I can see the video's got the fancy ads that pay good money. Let's take a look at the stats about this video. Well, from what I can see on the chart there, it's going viral straight out of the box. Well done. Let's take a look at the more info. Because I respect this user's copyright, I'm not going to show you what he's done in part of this video, but the video is made up from other people's videos as well. And there is one here which says Spider. Let's take a look at this link here. This is the video that Link followed, and uh, this is a stolen video as well. So one stolen video uh, enacts another stolen video. Welcome to YouTube. This is the way it works now. Noticing this video is monetized. Okay, I haven't got a claim on it, and that's the views this rip-off video has got. This ripped video here has been reformatted. I see that often when people rip off material, and the main reason why they do that is to try and trick the system, but also to cover up the watermark that I have on the video, which is down here. So let me step back to that first video. And what I'm going to do now is play the rip of the rip of the rip, in a sense, and I want you to listen carefully to the audio of the soundtrack that's been ripped. So that is what was taken, plus the audio. Very important that you hear the audio to give it context of that my video versus what has been produced here. There's a scene of a little Minecraft person trying to catch a spider and then supposedly my video is like real life, so it's like Minecraft versus real life. Ha ha ha. Uh, the only problem there, my son uh, wasn't laughing, he was crying. And he brought it to my attention, which made me look a little bit closer to what was going on. And uh, the more I looked, uh, the more I was disturbed. Now, the reason why I'm coming in here and being quite firm here is because of this style of uh, video and producer, what these people do, uh, it's very chronic in the gaming communities, there's a lot of other people saying, well, he did the video like that using this, this, and this, I'll just do the same. And then there'll be this whole repetition of people doing the same thing, pulling big views, making good money on YouTube, uh, all at the expense of my video. These people tend to never contact me. They never get clearances for my daughter's voice in the video. That's very important to do. I don't think people understand when you have minors in videos and how that uh, changes the way the video be, uh, is used. Okay. If I was in court, well, my audience can be the judge here. I think kangaroo court because I'm Australian. Uh, do you think this user has taken the the core element of my video away. Is there any need for you to go and think you need to see my video after seeing what has been taken away? Can I see credit there to me? I can't see my watermark. I can't see links to my video. It's starting to stack up against this person that I'll let the audience have the say there. I'm sure this YouTube is going to start reading those comments really fast. On Wikipedia there's a nice page uh, related to fair use. And the US uh, fair use factors comes down to four main things. One is the purpose and character of use. Two is the nature of the copyrighted work. Three is amount and sub something. I can't say that word because I'm not a legal person, but it's basically how much of the copyrighted work has been taken. 
and other factors and they're as simple as acknowledgement of the copyright source. My Spider video has even been used in print publications under headlines like that. The people who made this book uh, contacted me, they said they wanted to put a little story around my video and use part of it in the book. It's called 88 Reasons Why Australia is the Craziest. I didn't charge these people anything, but they sent me out a copy of the book and a nice little thank you note. I brought up the book because it's a great example of fair use and people who understand how to use it. They give credit to the creator, they don't distract from my original video. In fact, by reading this, it makes you want to hunt out and take a look at the video. Now another curious use of my video was by Google Australia. Let's take a look where it is now. Okay, I've got to find the video now. I've got to scroll down because a little while back when they used my video, there's always a bit of a story behind people using my video with permission. Okay, there it is there. I can't believe this. Uh, this 16 second long video has got over 18 million views. I wonder if it's the uh, most popular video. Let's check it out. I can't believe this. I don't know whether it's a laugh or cry considering how my channel's collapsed. Uh, look at the most viewed video on Google Australia. Let me click on it and I'll rip this for you onto my channel. Okay, Google. Are huntsman spiders dangerous? <laughs> Venom toxicity. The bite of huntsman spiders is of low risk to humans. They are a non-aggressive group of spiders. My crikeys, uh, Google have generated a very, very popular ad uh, using one of my videos and it is 18 million views that maybe I would like to have on my channel because uh, as I make this video my channel is keeling over and dying before my eyes. Uh, many people have asked me, Leo, how much were you paid for the use of your spider video by Google's ad? Well, here's the sum. I didn't want to uh, disclose it. Let me just double check it again. I've got a bit of paper here on the side. Okay, that's the, yeah. This is the number. You're going to get a bit of a shock. I was paid this, zero dollars. I wasn't paid one cent, it was a freebie to Google. Did they ask permission to use the video? Yes, they did. Very important to hear that, yes, they did, okay? Google's terms of service is a curious read, it's important to read, and what you'll find out is anything that you upload onto YouTube uh, can basically be turned into fodder like this, okay? And most people don't know that, I think most people don't read the terms of service. If I was in court and I had to explain to a judge why Big Spider Attacks Daddy is an important video to me versus the people who like to re-upload the guts of it, I'd explain it like this. It's a video that made my channel. Uh, Leo Kim video, there is a time before this video and then there is the time after Big Spider Attacks Daddy. Initially it wasn't a popular video. In another video I may explain how it became popular. It's quite a curious story involving a couple of YouTubers that are very close to my heart to this day. In the end, it got seen by people who run very important television shows on USA Network Television. As soon as your videos get seen on TV in the USA, it's like the uh, popularity gates start to open and you're seen as a bit of a different YouTuber. Mind you, YouTube is flooded with people who have been has-beens or people who have declining channels. I could name thousands of them. Ask yourself at the moment, where's Smosh these days? Where's Jenna Marbles, Shane Dawson, Ray William Johnson? How many more could I name? Hundreds if not thousands more. Maybe you can name some for me. YouTube is very much always moving and morphing and changing. But one thing about this video, which I would explain to the judges, uh, Big Spider Attacks Daddy has been, one of these videos has been like the uh, bread and butter of my channel. Okay, and sadly lots of people have tried to basically turn it into their bread and butter, monetize it. Uh, make it popular for themselves, they never ask permission, and they take the guts out of the video just about every time. That's why it's important to me. To speak about something more recent, uh, the Redback videos are causing a lot of interest, I've noticed, with people online. And I'll explain, I know why people like this sort of stuff, because, well, there's money involved. Look at all the advertising on the sites here. Okay, these people are making money from the ads. There is a link here that links directly to the video. Okay, they've even made their own custom cut of the video, which is here. I'll start counting. There's one, two, three, and there's another one there, four. Okay, I had to hear my own voice. Uh, it's 30 seconds long. In a funny way, it does point directly at my channel a lot, but there's also a lot of advertising wrapped around this. Um, that's what it's all about. This links to three pictures. We scroll down even further, more reading, which is sort of semi-right and semi-wrong. More pictures there. 
and a whole bunch more pictures there. But in the end, it's all about making money out of uh, stories online. Because I know for a fact that Ritzy advertising on this page here goes nowhere near my bank account. So News, uh, one of the all-time grand users of Fair Use, and I'm hoping that that's a two-way relationship. Mind you, uh, that person who wrote the article there never seek permission uh, to use or cut up one of my videos or to talk about the story. I was trying to be very closed in about the red back spider thing because I think I learned my lesson from the big spider attacks daddy video is uh, there's a time when you have to do deals with the devil and there's hopefully a time when you don't. Uh, doing deals with the devil opens up a hornet's nest of people who think uh, that once you upload a video online it becomes everybody's video. I've been in fights recently of people who've decided that they can rip off the Redback Spider video, they can put a translation over it, they can chop it up and heavily disguise it and flip images around and crop it, and they try to hide the video online, and when I go to copyright strike them, they come back at me saying that their re-upload of my content was fair use. And they also claim, oh, well, I'm a new YouTuber and I'll give you every excuse in the book, I'm tired of doing this sort of thing. And when they get really panicky, they say, hey, will land you some money. I don't do deals after something has been stolen. As far as I can see, if something has been stolen sneakily and you've done all sorts of things to hide the fact, there's no deal. I'd never deal with people after they've stolen something. And it, like I could tell you many, many stories of what I've had to deal with, especially over the last five or six years, is quite astonishing. Please let me know if you think I've been too hard or too harsh here, or do I just don't even protect my own patch, just let people do whatever they want to do and rip the guts out of my channel, which is diminishing day by day on YouTube. YouTube and I are partners, or Google and I are partners, and I'm really straining at the moment to uh, understand the core relationship of that partnership as I watch my channel vaporize in front of my eyes. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.